Hi, it's me again. I'm back to do my Barbados independence video. As I said, I was going to do it when I did my other video last night. I said I was going to do a video about Barbados 56 independence. I mean, 52nd independence. My bad. Where am I going with that? But yes, Barbados is celebrating its 52nd year of independence, November 30th, 2018, which is today. Oh. <sighs> many 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 years of gloriousness my only issue is the queen is still the head of state of barbados but i am hoping one of these days that girl gonna go flying right out so i'm just gonna show you a few pictures and you're gonna listen to a little bit of music about the island so you know i'm gonna try my best so first up, I'm going to talk about the food of Barbados and we have quite a lot of food. We have <clears throat> the national dish, the national dish of Barbados is flying fish and cuckoo. Cuckoo is essentially turned cornmeal. That's the best way I can describe it. It's turned cormier and obviously flying fish. It's an actual fish that you will see in the Atlantic Ocean. And Barbados is actually in the Atlantic Ocean. It's not actually in the Caribbean. However, it is classed as a Caribbean island and it's also part of CARICOM. So yeah, we are classed as a Caribbean island, even though we're not actually in the Caribbean, if you get what I mean, you know, the Americas. We're not actually in Americas, we're actually in the Atlantic Ocean. And we don't mind. We don't mind. So yes, cuckoo and flying fish is the national is the national dish of Barbados. However, there is also a meal that we typically tend to have just on Saturdays. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Yes, so the dish we typically tend to have on a Saturday is called pudding and sauce. Now, pudding and sauce is um, basically sweet potato and pork. It is pickled pork. Now, obviously, pork is not for everybody, so I'm not going to come here and say, well, oh, you need to try it if you go to Barbados to try it. No. What I will say, however, is the people who do eat pork, you can try it. You know, so it's pickled pork. And then it's sweet potato. Now, me personally, I don't like the dish just because I'm not really too big on pickled foods. I don't know what it is, but the texture of pickled anything is just, ugh, no thank you. So I don't like it, but my mother loves it. Her, her sisters like it. Her brothers like it. But me, no, sir. That not going to go in my mouth. I won't. I, I do eat pork. I will admit that. But pudding and sauce, no, I just don't like pickled anything. No. But there is one food, one Bajan food I absolutely adore. Absolutely adore fish kicks. So yes, as I was saying, I absolutely adore fish cakes. Now, I've never made them myself, but I've always had them whenever I've been in Barbados and I absolutely love fish cakes. They're just little round, little round balls. Um, you see, like, because like the shape of them, you won't really think like it's a cake, but it is a cake, you know? And it's like it's got the fish they use in fish cakes is cod and they skin the cod um and it says here they it says here they use onions garlic red pepper and thyme blend them to create a puree and um, you add the puree and the potato to the fish and mix together thoroughly and then you can either add some chopped chili or bacon hot pepper sauce which is absolutely delicious but preferably whenever i've had them i prefer to have them with the with the chopped chili because it does taste better you know you get that real fiery taste rather than the pepper sauce because sometimes the pepper sauce can taste a little bit salty so i'd rather go for the the pepper itself the chili pepper oh, my next love macaroni pie if you don't 
if you've never had macaroni pie in Barbados you are literally missing out like oh, I think it may actually take over my love of cuckoo and flying fish I'm gonna have to think about this one Now, I don't have to explain how macaroni pie is made because it's it's very similar to how Americans make mac and cheese, you know? However, we do tend to add a little bit extra in there, you know, you can add like some onions, you can add garlic, um, you can also add chili peppers again. We do add chili peppers, this is what I'm saying, we make it like, we make it like our own. And I love how like when my mum makes macaroni pies, she will make like a cheese sauce. So, you know just had a little bit of milk in there and the cheeses that you've used on the macaroni and then you use some of the same cheese to make the cheese sauce and then once it's all once it's all cooked down and melted you pour it on top and it just tastes so oh my god i'm just thinking about the macaroni pie i'm gonna have next weekend lord jesus So what else do we have? We have conky. Now I've not actually, I don't think I've ever had a conky, but Barbados is also known for their conkies. So it says here, conkies is a sweet cornmeal based food item popular in the West Indies. The ingredients include cornmeal, coconut, sweet potato and pumpkin. And the mixture is cooked by steaming in banana leaves. In Barbados, con conkies were once associated with the old... Mm, sorry about the sneeze. With the old British colonial celebration of Guy Fawkes Day on November 5th. Isn't it interesting the things you learn? Now that's very interesting because honestly I did not know that at all. Now let me see if that's all the food items. Okay, so we got sweet bread here as well. Yes, so sweet bread says this richly textured coconut bread is a traditional favour of all Barbadians. When offered, it is seldom refused. It will be eaten any time, day or night. The sweet aroma from a Bajan sweet bread in the oven will draw neighbours you never knew you had. Now I've had sweet bread myself and I have to admit it is very tasty and I'm not big on coconut like that. So if I can enjoy it when I don't even like sweet bread, I mean when I don't like coconut, trust me you will love it. And when you feel like your belly can't take no more food, you wash it all down with a glass of more beer. On a hot day, and there are many of those in Barbados, many Bajans reach for a refreshing glass of Morby to quench their thirst and cool down. Morby is made from the bark of the Morby tree, boiled with cinnamon, cinnamon, my bad, orange peel, nutmeg and cloves, and sweetened to taste. It is rather a unique flavour. I used to absolutely hate Morby, I'm not even going to lie, but I do enjoy drinking it now with a bitter aftertaste that was the thing because when you first drink it it's very very sweet but then the aftertaste is very bitter so if you're not someone who's into kind of bitter aftertaste then this is certainly is not the drink for you however it is good for your health so i do see why a lot of bajans drink it and some people really dislike it but of course it's it's a favorite of many others so it's worth at least trying. You might find yourself adding it to rum punch, coconut water, and Banks beer as your goes as your go-to drinks in Barbados. <clears throat> Morby was traditionally sold by vendors who walked around the towns and villages, dispensing a delicious drink from buckets, expertly balanced on their heads. 
Today, Morby is on the menu at many local cafes and even at the Chaffet chain of fast food restaurants. That's another thing to know. Barbados and Chaffet like goes together like hand in glove. Like you cannot go to you cannot go to Barbados and not see at least one Chaffet. Like it's impossible. I love Chaffet food. I must admit, Chaffet is very nice. I love their I love their ice cream. Their ice cream is just well. While some Barbadians do still boil Morbi at home, many prefer the convenience of instant Morbi syrup, readily available in the supermarkets. And it also says you can order Morbi syrup at Amazon.com. Hmm, I might have to do that. Another thing that Barbados is known for is Mount Gay Rum. Now I absolutely adore rum and whenever I'm, in, whenever I'm on holiday I'm always drinking some I'm always drinking some rum Now don't think I'm an alcoholic because I don't drink it all day every day But when I'm on holiday I typically tend to go wild The most popular rum in Barbados is what I, is what I said Mount Gay rum That rum That rum has been made in Barbados for absolutely years years and years the rum factories are still going you can go visit one of the rum factories i remember i went years ago with my parents there is also harrison cave now that's not that's not like a rum factory however like harrison harrison caves it's like this under this underwater <clears throat> how do i describe it now like this kind of under no these caves it's like these caves and they make you wear they make you wear helmets and stuff because you get put in this little boat thing and you go underneath the caves and you want you on the water and you have to wear helmets because it's quite low they've like really they've they've up they've um, updated harrison caves now i've not been since it's been updated but i've heard that it's a lot better there now compared to when i used to go back in the 90s and the early 2000s it's like darn and of course because they've updated it it's a lot more expensive to go there now but you know, it's all fair. I mean, if you go and pay money to get something fixed up, then you're gonna have to charge more money for people to go. It's how it works, unfortunately. But yeah, once I have once I have children of my own, I'm definitely gonna take them to Harrison Caves because it's kind of like, how can I not? So yeah, like I was saying, back to the rum. I'm just talking about, you know, I'm a bit random like that. But um, yeah, back to the rum. The other rum I also love is Coxspurs Rum Punch. I absolutely adore that rum. That rum is just, whoa, spectacular. I love it. Now, I remember I was reading like this little um, Memi thing earlier this year. Memi, meme, whatever you pronounce it. And someone was saying how they don't feel like we should be drinking rum because they used sugarcane and obviously sugarcane was harvested during slavery and they feel like if we drink rum we kind of insult our ancestors and i'm just like really insulting you really want to go there okay then personally i don't think that's necessary to say that we're insulting our ancestors because we're drinking rum like some of you lot take it way too far for my liking, you understand? Way too far. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, those people I just added at the end of this video, the first one is is Anison Hines, the second one is Rupee, the third one is Lil Rick, and of course, Aga Rihanna. Now, the first three are soca artists, they're Bajan soca artists, and they've been doing this for absolutely years. Soca is very, very... Soca is very, very, very big 
in Barbados, okay, Soka and Calypso. However, I recently discovered a couple of weeks ago that we Bajans actually created our own music called Spooge. Now, I'm going to do a separate video on that sometime next week. So, I can dedicate a full five minutes to getting that video done, you know? However, Soak and Calypso are the main music that comes out of Barbados, even though, obviously, we know Soak and Calypso was created in Trinidad. We, Barbadians, have taken it on our own, and we had seen a lot of these artists who are rising and doing their own versions of Soak and music. And you know, singing in there, singing in their Beijing accents. Now I know you don't like the Beijing accent, but I don't care. Okay? Wanna not care? So basically that's it, yeah. Soka music is soca music is pretty much it's not worldwide yet, but I'm hoping to see one day soca music will be worldwide as in big as reggae music and big as dancer music is becoming because you know everybody's leeching into dance or music right now. Literally everybody. And speaking of Robin Rihanna Fenty, you know she is the biggest export to come out of Barbados. Pretty much everybody knows about Rihanna, you know, she's doing her Rihanna Fenty, she's doing her, I mean, she's doing her Savage Fenty, Fenty Beauty. And we all waiting for the Fenty music, Rihanna, like, that's what we're waiting for, really. We're waiting for the new music, okay? That's what we want, the new music. You gonna leave us waiting? But seriously, Rihanna is the biggest export out Oh, Barbados and absolutely love how no matter how big she becomes she always she always says yes I come from Barbados and she's she always bigs up the island I mean she's one of the she's one of the cultural ambassadors of Barbados so and one of the travel and tourism ambassadors of Barbados as well so technically she has to but at the same time a lot of people who leave Barbados or whatever they don't they don't acknowledge where they came from and that is very sad to me but Yes, wanna 52 years today. 52 years today. Amazing. Amazing. I love Barbados. I do. I absolutely adore Barbados. That is my home from home. I also love Jamaica. Don't get me wrong. I love the other half of me, Jamaica. But you know now from how many times I said it in my music video, I mean in my YouTube videos, how many times I've said I absolutely adore Door Barbados. I literally love it. I love everything. The people, the country, the culture, the vibes. Oh, and the the picture that I put, the picture that I put after Rihanna is a picture of Crop Over. This girl in her Crop Over outfit. And if you don't know about Crop Over, Crop Over used to be called Harvest Home. Back during slavery, it used to be when the slaves would celebrate the end of the harvest. So the harvest and other sugar cane. So they used to call it Harvest Home. And now it is a massive thing. It's a massive thing. Like pretty much everybody knows about crop over. It's not as big as Notting Hill Carnival or Brazil Carnival or Trinidad Carnival. However, it's big in our own right. And I don't want any, I don't want to hear nobody chatting no nonsense about how they feel the need to this crop over don't this one because we're not dissing you okay we're minding our business enjoying ourselves so why you feel the need to, why you feel the need to open your mouth just go long like there's no need for it like allow it so yeah we're gonna do our own thing and you do your own thing simple things but yes that is the end of the video I shall be back tomorrow with another YouTube video. I'm actually going to try and post at least one video a day in December because I'm going to try to do Vlogmas. So yeah, I'm going to post at least one video a day. And if I don't post one video a day, then I shall make it up the next day by posting at least two. Okay, so I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.